What's going on guys, this is Mike Noy, and today I will be showing you guys my entire Skylander figures collection. Now I was a pretty big fan of the Toys to Life genre of video games, specifically Skylanders. I mean for some reason it blew my mind of just the idea of having something physical that I can use to play a video game. Sure it just sounds like DLC with a piece of plastic, but I couldn't get over the fact that I can play as an artichoke wielding a tomato gun or a snake slash octopus monstrosity or even as a piece of broccoli. Skylanders always had a very unique roster of characters with their own quirky personalities and abilities. Looking back though, it was only a matter of time when the Toys of Life business began to run dry since companies like Disney, Nintendo, and even Lego started their own toy lines, which was harder for Skylanders to compete against since characters like Spider-Man, Mario, and Batman were being sold. Even though Skylanders have been discontinued for a few years now, I've gotten the request to showcase the Skylander toys I own from all six games. Back in 2011, the Skylanders franchise appeared on the scene which is a video game that used toys in real life that can be scanned using a portal of power unless you play as that toy. These toys with a green base feature Spiral the Dragon and various creatures such as Fish Guy, Troll, a tree, and whatever this thing was. Skylanders Spiral's Adventure was the first game of the series. They of course used Spiral's name to get more awareness for the game. There were a total of 32 unique figures alongside 5 in-game color variants. In-game color variant toys are just different color variations of particular Skylanders, both of the toy and the character in the game, which would consider them as their own Skylander. The easiest way of keeping track of one's collection is to use the poster that comes with the starter pack. Honestly, I didn't really care about the stickers that much at first, so I did a check mark for each one. And as you can see, I have all 37 Spyro Adventure Skylanders. Starting with the magic element, we have Spyro, Double Trouble, Wrecking Ball, and Voodoo. Earth Element, we have Bash, Dino Rang, Prism Break, and Terrafin. For the Water Element, there's Slam Bam, Zap, Wham Shell, and Gilgrunt. Fire Element, there's Ignitor, Sunburn, Flame Slinger, and Eruptor. I have another Flame Slinger from GameStop, I believe I just got it for free using their Skylander membership program. From the tech element, we got Boomer, Drill Sergeant, Drobot, and Trigger Happy. For the undead element, there's Hex, Cinder, Chop Chop, and Ghost Roaster. And this is my second Hex because my original one's arm fell off. For the air element, there's Whirlwind, Wornado, Sonic Boom, and Lightning Rod. And for the life element, we have Camo, Stump Smash, Zook, and Stealth Elf. There were only five in-game color variants of Skylanders in this game. There are the four legendary Skylanders that were exclusive to Toys R Us. There is Spyro, Bash, Chop Chop, and Trigger Happy. And then we have Dark Spyro, which was exclusive to the 3DS starter pack. Then there are the items that came in the adventure packs. Starting with the levels, we have Ice Cave, Dragon's Peak, Pirate Ship, and Dark Light Crypt. For the items, we have Anvil Rain and Healing Elixir, Time Twister and Ghost Swords, Winged Boots and Sparks Dragonfly, and then Hidden Treasure and Sky Iron. Finally, there's Terabyte, which was one out of four sidekick figures that you can get from Free to Lay mixed bags. So while I do have all 37 Skylanders, I am missing the other three sidekicks and the Volcanic Vault item. Next up we have Skylander Giants which had the orange bases. This introduced Giants and Lycor figures. Giants were slightly bigger figures that were much more powerful in game and would even light up. And then the Lycor figures were regular sized figures that would light up. Yeah, the Lycor figures were never my favorite. It just seemed pointless to get two toys of the same character just because one would light up. I mean, when they go into the game, they are able to take out all surrounding enemies, which I guess is pretty cool. So here's my original poster and I finally used the stickers correctly, but for some reason I put the stickers of figures that didn't fit on a regular piece of paper. There are 48 Skylanders and 14 in-game variant figures. And once again, I have all of them, which totals up to 62 Skylander figures. Starting with Magic, we have the Giant Ninjini, 
the light core is Pop Fizz, and the core figures are Spyro, Wrecking Ball, Double Trouble, and Pop Fizz. For fire, we have the giant hothead. Eruptor is the light core figure. And then the core figures are Igniter, Eruptor, Flameslinger, and Hot Dog. Undead starts with the giant eyebrow, and then the light core hex. And the core figures, Cinder, Chop Chop, Hex, and Fright Rider. I also have a glow in the dark Cinder. Unlike the in game variants, these would still appear in the game like they normally would do otherwise. Which is why I didn't really get these types of figures. For life, we have the giant Tree Rex. And then the Light Core Shroom Boom. Core figures are Stealth Elf, Zook, Stump Smash, and Shroom Boom. For air, we have the giant Swarm. And then Light Core Jet Vac. I also have a Light Core Jet Vac that's still in the original packaging. And then the core figures are Sonic Boom, Whirlwind, Lightning Rod, and Jet Vac. Water, there's the giant Thump Vac. And then Light Core Chill. Core figures, there's Slam Bam, Zap, Gil Grunt, and Chill. For tech, Bouncer is the giant. And then Light Core Drobot. Core figures, there's Drill Sergeant, Trigger Happy, Drobot, and Sprocket. And finally for Earth, we have the Giant Crusher, Light Core Prism Break, and then the core figures, Terrafin, Bash, Prism Break, and Flashwing. Now for the 14 in-game variants, we will start with the four giants, which are Gnarly Tree Rex, Legendary Bouncer, Granite Crusher, and Scarlet Ninjini. These five legendary figures are Lycor Chill, Stealth Elf, Slam Bam, Igniter, and Jet Vac. And for the final variants, we have Royal Double Trouble, Polar Whirlwind, Molten Hot Dog, 3DS Starter Pack Exclusive Punch Pop Fizz, and Jade Flashwing. And then there were four magic items in this series, which were regular and golden Dragonfire Cannon, Platinum Treasure Chest, and Scorpion Striker Catapult. And I also have the Free Delay Sidekick Ice Small. Once again, I'm missing the other three sidekick figures, but other than that, I have all Skylander Giant figures. Next up, we have Skylander Swap Force, which had the blue bases. This game introduced the swappable figures, which allowed you to swap halves and make unique combinations. Our Swap Force, once again, filled up. I even put the extra Skylanders and items on there as well. There are 56 Skylanders and 19 in-game variants, which adds up to 75 figures total. Starting with the magic swappable Skylanders, there's Trap Shadow and Hoot Loop. There's Light Core Star Strike, and then the core figures are Mega Ram Spyro, Super Gulp Pop Fizz, Dune Bug, and Star Strike. I also have a Mega Ram Spyro that's still in its original packaging. For water, we have Wash Buckler and Freeze Blade, Light Core Wham Shell, and then Anchors Away Gilgrunt, Blizzard Chill, Riptide, and Punk Shock. Tech Skylanders, we have Spyrise and Magna Charge, Light Core Countdown, Big Bang Trigger Happy, Heavy Duty Sprocket, Wind Up, and Countdown. I also have a Wind Up that's in its original packaging. Earth Skylanders, there's Doomstone and Rubble Trouble, Light Core Flashwing, Hyper Beam Prism Break, Knockout Terrafin, Scorp, and Slobbertooth. For fire, we have Blast Zone and Fire Kraken, Light Core Smolder Dash, Lava Barf Eruptor, Firebone Hot Dog, Frino, and Smolder Dash. Undead, there's Rattle Shake and Night Shift, Light Core Grim Creeper, Twin Blade Chop Chop, Phantom Cinder, Roller Brawl, and Grim Creeper. Life Skylanders, there is Stink Bomb and Gorilla Drilla, Lycor Bumble Blast, Ninja Stealth Elf, Thorn Horn Camo, Zulu, and Bumble Blast. And then there's Air, which consists of Free Ranger and Boom Jet, Lycor Warnado, 
Corn Blast Whirlwind, Turbo Jetvac, Pop Thorn, and Scratch. For the in-game variants, we have Nitro, Magna Charge, and Freeze Blade, Quick Draw, Rattle Shake, and Jade Fire Kraken, Legendary Free Ranger and Night Shift, Dark Wash Buckler and Blast Zone, Enchanted Hoot Loop and Light Core Star Striker, Legendary Zulu and Light Core Grim Creeper, Dark Mega Ram Spyro, Ninja Stealth Elf, and Slobbertooth. Holiday Specials, Jolly Bumble Blast, Springtime Trigger Happy, and Kickoff Countdown. And then finally, 3DS Starter Pack Exclusive Volcanic Eruptor. For the magic items, we have Sheepwreck Island and Tower of Time, Archean Crossbow and Fiery Forge, and there is Sky Diamond, Battle Hammer, Platinum Sheep, and Groove Machine. Now, I do have all figures from Swap Force since there was no free delay sidekicks with this game. But if you want to get technical, I am missing the starter pack reservation card that gets you the UFO hat in the game. The fourth game of the franchise is Skylanders Trap Team, which features a red base. This introduced Trap Masters, Traps, and mini Skylanders. Trap Masters are slightly bigger than normal Skylanders with a translucent weapon that does more damage to villains and opens specific gates within the levels. The traps allow you to play as the villains you defeat in the game for a limited amount of time. Well, except for Chaos, you can play as him whenever you want by spamming this move. And mini Skylanders are mini versions of existing Skylanders. If this sounds like sidekicks to you, then you are correct. But now they don't follow you, you can actually play as them. You can even use the original free delay figures as mini Skylanders in Trap Team, which is really cool. So this is where I started to fall out of Skylanders because I'm nowhere close to owning all Trap Team figures. I just focused on getting a few I really wanted and just stopped. So let's see what I managed to get. For Magic, I have the Trap Masters, Blaster Mind, and Enigma. And then I have core figures, King, Cobra, Kadabra, Love Potion, Pop Fizz, Legendary and Regular Deja Vu, and Minis, Mini Genie, and Spry. For Fire, I have Trap Master, Dark Wildfire, Torch, Small Fry, and Excellent and Regular Wee Ruptor. Earth Skylanders, I have Trap Master, Wallop, Fist Bump, Bop, and terabyte. For life, there's Trap Masters Legendary and Regular Bushwhack, two regular and dark food fights, and Sure Shot Shroom Boom. For tech, there's Trap Masters Gear Shift and Legendary Jawbreaker, Chopper, Trigger Snappy, and Drobit. Undead, there's Nitro Crypt King, Funny Bone, Eye Small, and Hijinks. Water, we got Lobstar, two regular and one dark snapshot, and then Flipwreck. For air, there's Thunderbolt, regular and legendary blades, Fling Kong, and Power Punch Pet Vac. And then we have the Trap Masters from the Light and Dark Elements, Nightlight, and Nightmare. For the magic items, there's Midnight Museum, Sun Scraper, Spire. Nightmare Express, and Mirror of Mystery. And then there's Piggy Bank, Legendary Hand of Fate, Rocket Ram, and Tiki Speaky. I also have a complete inbox Skylanders Trap Team starter pack for the Wii U that I did an unboxing for the channel a while back. And finally, let's take a look at the traps. Going from row to row, we have the Ultimate Chaos Trap, Dark Spider, and Light Owl and Rocket. We have three Life Hammers, two Torches, two Can and Sword, and we have the Earth Orb, Hammer, and the Special Easter Bunny Trap. Next up are three Water Tikis, two Log Holders, the Axe, Jughead, and Flying Helmet. The two Fire Traps are the Torch and Screamer, and then the Magic Traps are the Skull and Log Holder. Undead traps are the orb and skull, and the tech traps are the scepter, angel, hand, and flying helmet. 
And then finally, the three air traps are the Jughead, Hourglass, and Toucan. Before we get into game number five, there was a special line of Skylander figures that were released during Trap Team, which was called Eon's Elite. These were not only three times more powerful in game than their counterparts, but they also were packaged in their own display case with a 3D holographic background card and received a shiny coat of paint with gold and clear bases. I mean, Toys for Bob really went all out with these collector edition Skylanders. The only problem is that they weren't cheap releasing at $24.99 in the US. The only reason I was able to get all original A was because they received a price cut for a Black Friday deal at GameStop, dropping to just 10 bucks. The eight original Eon Elite figures are Spyro, Eruptor, Gilgrunt, Terrafin, Trigger Happy, Chop Chop, Stealth Elf, and Whirlwind. There were six more Eons Elite figures that were released during the fifth game's relevance that I never got, which were Boomer, Dino Rang, Ghost Roaster, Slam Bam, Voodoo, and Zook. Overall, these are the best figures to own since they look the best, they're really strong in the game, are displayed really nicely, and they even work with all six games. The fifth game of the franchise was Skylanders Superchargers, which introduced the Supercharger figures and vehicles. Each Supercharger Skylander had their corresponding vehicles that would grant them more power when paired. You can use vehicles with any Skylander, but you won't have the Supercharge abilities if you don't have the correct pairing. Also, you need at least one vehicle and one Skylander to play the game. Once again, I don't own all the figures since I started to grow tired of the series. Starting with Fire, we have Spitfire and his vehicle, Hot Streak. And then my favorite Skylander of all time, Hammer Slam Bowser and his vehicle, Clown Cruiser. For life, we have Turbocharged Donkey Kong and his vehicle, Barrel Blaster. And then two Super Shot Stealth Elves and their in-game variant vehicle, Nitro Stealth Stinger. Water, there's Deep Dive Gilgrunt with the Reef Ripper and then Dive Clops with Dive Bomber. For Undead, there's Fiesta with Crypt Cruiser. For Magic, there's Splat with Splatter Splasher. And then Legendary Hurricane Jetvac as my only Air Skylander. And then there's two trophies, which are the Sea and Chaos Trophy. Also going back to the Bowser and Donkey Kong figures, you can also use them as amiibo by turning their base to switch between Skylander and amiibo mode. So the last game of the series is Skylander Imaginators which introduced Sensei Skylanders, Creation Crystals, and chests that came in blind packages. So the whole gimmick of this game is so that you can create your own Skylander. The only three figures I have are the ones you get from the standard starter pack which are Kingpin, Golden Queen, and the Fire Reactor Crystal. The cool thing about this series is that you can order a custom Skylander rather than using the Creation Crystals, and they also brought in Crash Bandicoot and Dr. Neo Vortex as Skylanders. So even though I basically fell out of Skylanders by this point, there were some high points of the final game. And just to show a couple more things, I still have a stack of the stats cards that came with the figures from the first four games. These didn't do much besides showing off the Skylander and how powerful they were. They would stop including these cards when Superchargers released because they created a trading card game called Skylanders Battlecast. This pack includes Spitfire and Stealth Elf cards that were included in the Superchargers starter pack. And then I have a deck box that was released with a good amount of cards and it car reader that would be used to scan in the cards into the mobile game. And that concludes today's collection video. As you can see, I was a huge fan of Skylanders, and even though I fell out of it, I still think that these figures are pretty cool, and they were a big part of the Toys for Life genre of video games. Once again, this was a pretty lengthy video, so I really do appreciate those who watched to the end. Let me know what Skylanders you thought looked pretty cool, or if you own any that I don't have in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Ah, now I gotta clean up all these spirals and gilgrads.
gonna be a show to remember.